Thank you for your recent purchase of the NV Pro 3 Micro Laser from Denmat. The goal of today's video is to walk you through simple setup procedures for your laser so that you can start using it right away. After this video, if you still have questions, please consult your instructions for use or call your local Denmat territory representative. The first thing you're going to need to do before you start using your NV Pro 3 Micro Laser is ensure that you've installed the batteries into the wireless foot pedal. Once that's done, please remove the NV Pro 3 wand and the battery. Next, you're going to attach the battery to the wand by simply aligning the mating holes and twisting your unit together. Now it is securely fastened. Next, before you ever start using the unit, please make sure that it's fully charged. By putting the unit in the charger cradle, you can see the amber light. This means that the unit is not fully charged. You always want to have your backup battery charging as well. It can charge in the charging cradle at the same time. Once the unit is fully charged, you can pull it out and you can start using the product. To turn on the NV Pro 3, press the laser stop button. Once pressed, it's going to ask for an enter key. The enter key is simply a safety mechanism so that nobody accidentally turns on the unit. To get through the key, press the up arrow four times. It has now unlocked the unit and you are ready to start using. You can set the wattage by yourself by moving up and down on these arrows or by using any of the presets. To get to the presets, go into the menu button press it twice and go to the procedures tab. Then simply scroll through any of the 12 procedures that the NV Pro 3 Micro Laser has on it. Once you find the procedure you want to do, simply press the menu button one more time. This will set the unit to its optimal setting so that you can start using it on that patient. Keep in mind that these are just guidelines. Every patient will not need the exact same wattage, but this is a great place to start. You may know that once you're in this, you can up the power as needed or lower the power. Some of the other features with the NV Pro 3, you can find here under the menu button. By pressing it three times, you will see the aiming beam. You can adjust the brightness of the aiming beam by pressing up and down on these arrows. I prefer to have the aiming beam all the way up so you can really see where it is you're cutting on the tissue. The last setting under the menu, by pressing it four times, is the beep volume. If you decide that you want the beep volume higher or lower, you can adjust that all here. I recommend keeping it all the way up so that you can warn other people in your office and your patient that you're actually using the product and lasing is in process. Next and final step is to take an individually wrapped laser tip out of the packaging. Be careful not to touch the end of the tip as any particles or any contaminants from your hand could damage the unit. You're then going to slide the tip onto the laser unit. If the word tip shows up at the bottom of your viewing screen, you know that the laser tip is properly aligned and on the unit. If the word tip does not show up, it will not let the laser cut. So make sure the laser tip is fully on. You see here that the aiming beam is on and the unit is ready to be used. When your laser is set up and ready to be used, you may find that certain procedures require what's known as an initiated laser tip. To initiate the laser tip, place the tip on the end of the unit and then take some articulating paper. Press the end of the tip against the articulating paper and activate the unit by using the wireless foot pedal. You're going to start cutting the articulating paper. Make sure you get the edge of the tip all around the paper. Once you're done, you should have a nice blackened tip. The black tip allows the unit to cut or ablate tissue. And for any procedure that you want to cut tissue, 
you're going to need to make sure you have an initiated tip. Once a tip's initiated, it's always initiated and you can't wipe it off. So if you need to do another procedure with that patient with an uninitiated tip, simply remove your disposable tip, throw it away in a sharps container, and grab a new one out of the packaging.